Hi, this is Gary DeBach in Puyallup, Washington, USA. In this video will demonstrate the new XH Data D608WB, which stands for Weather Band. Uh, this is a rather odd looking model compared to most of the recent uh, radios from XH Data. You can see there's no uh, frequency entry keypad. Uh, as well, there's no volume control of a rotary type. Uh, if you want to adjust the volume, you're going to have to push these push buttons here up and down. Uh, there's a few other features of this I'll explain. Uh, this model was specifically designed for emergency usage when the power goes out. So you'll see that um, on the top here, there's a solar panel which uh, can charge up the battery when the power is out. That means the, uh, a the AC wall current, you can't use it. This will charge it up, al although very slowly. Uh, you have an emergency hand crank on the back, which you can man manually charge the battery, which incidentally is a higher capacity 18650 than most of the XH data models have for a battery. This one is 3000 mAh and mostly uh, the other XH data models have a 2000 mAh battery. So uh, in addition it has a very powerful flashlight that you can adjust to three different Uh, obviously that wasn't the flashlight, that was, uh, um, it's got like an emergency siren and it also has the, uh, lights here. Three different le levels, it's got like a strobe light. Anything you could want to get attention to yourself. Uh, let me turn off this thing. Okay, so. I gave you an unintended uh, demonstration of the siren. Um, the medium wave reception on the AM band is fairly good for this. It has a DSP chip, but there's no uh, selection for any filters. So you're pretty much stuck in what i pretty sure is the 3 kilohertz setting. I do have a daytime DX fringe station selected on this. which is a Korean format station, 1230 KWYZ, one kilowatt at about 75 miles north of here. So I have the stock model now. I have a uh, man in Korean, which not all that strong, I think. Uh, If I knew Korean, I might be able to figure out what he's saying. He's about S2 or S3. So let me see what the new enhanced model can do with a 7.5 inch transplanted AM loop stick. I gotta turn it on first. community here. Um, three stations I can make out. See if I can separate them by... With the enhanced loop stick, you not only get enhanced sensitivity, you get enhanced knowing. So this is a real trick you can do to separate on a radio channel like this. Okay. 
So you can see I use this method frequently to try to separate these. So three stations in and out. Let's go back to stock model just one more time. So you can see quite a bit reduced. Uh, let me just uh, give you a brief description of the enhanced model construction here. The theory of this was I took the stock loop stick, which uh, was designed for the Silicon Labs um, SI4734 DSP chip. I duplicated the um, loop stick coil inductance and substituted a much longer ferrite rod from Amadon which turns this thing into a much, much more sensitive radio to have fun on the AM band. Um, the technical operation is not that difficult, but if I were really in an emergency situation with no power, I'd want to pass the time with AM DXing. So this model will um, satisfy you if you have that inclination. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.